Hello, I am back from vacation and it's time to get up <laughs> to get back on my work grind. Um, today's Friday, I came back Thursday night, but tomorrow's the weekend. I'm taking the dogs to their grooming appointment because they have gotten so fluffy. Hold on, let me show you my girl honey. Look at her, she's so shaggy. Tomorrow they have a grooming appointment. I have a nail appointment because my nails have gotten out of hand. That's tomorrow and I'm probably gonna see my sister tomorrow. I have, I also started a summer course, um, May 29th, but I was away. So I didn't do any work for it. Um, it's like a weekly assignment, whatever. So I have until Sunday to finish that. I'll do it later. Um, so yeah. Also, I have to show you guys these beautiful flowers my parents got me when I came home. These are the flowers in question. I never get these flowers, by the way. I just never like thought to pick them up, but they're so pretty. And they look so cute on my table. I'm super happy to be back, even though I had a great time on my vacation. It is nice to be back, to be back with my dogs, be back in my own apartment. I didn't crochet at all, at all. During my vacation, I only finished up my fuzzy turtle that I took with me on vacation to take pictures. I finished that at the airport, and then I finished reading my whole book, totally interrupted. It's actually really good. It's a very light read. The vocabulary is easy. It's just like a nice read on vacation so that's exactly what i did and i enjoyed it a lot i enjoyed it and it was very relaxing i loved reading by the beach or by the pool because i just don't get to do that any reading i do is for school and it's just driving me insane so it was nice to finally read something that i enjoyed just for me and yeah look at my plan i had to hook it up on the wall with a thumbtack because of how long it got it was yeah. anyways i'm gonna change and i'm gonna start crocheting bye i'm having a little bit of a crisis <laughs> Because I bought this really pretty blue color from Premier Yarns, and I can't find it in my box of yarn. And it's making me really mad. I have like a really light blue, but I don't want to use that. I want to use a really pretty bright blue. Also, I realized I don't really have green. Not in Premier Parfait Chunky. Oh, I don't know where to put it. I'll be back. Good afternoon. It's 12.03 p.m. I just got my nails done. Really cute color. I would have vlogged this morning, but I was in a rush trying to get the dogs out to the groomers, so that happened. But I got a caramel latte at Starbucks, and I added the white chocolate mocha cream cold foam. Oh no, white chocolate macadamia cream cold foam. And it's so good on top of the caramel latte. So now, I'm just gonna meet up with my friend and then we're gonna take the dogs and it'll just be a nice relaxing day because I got a lot of admin stuff to do. Hi! Here are the babies after their haircuts. <laughs> They're so skinny. You can really see Peanut's black undercoat and you can just see the gray on his spine. It's so cute. But I got them some snacks, and I also got them some food. Let's give them a snack. Alright, so these are the snacks they have. They're Mother Hubbard snacks. Here you go, baby. We're about to leave the car, but I figured I'd give them a little snack. <laughs> Hi! Let me show you guys what... I got my dogs, um, this is what they were going crazy after in the car. These are old Mother Hubbard um, little dry treats. I got them this vegan. This is plant-based protein and cage-free eggs with cranberries and carrots. And they love this um, Fresh Pet brand, so I think I'm going to give them some of this. I also got them chicken, beef, salmon, and egg. For, um, from the same brand. They really like this brand. I also got them, hold on, let me do a Target haul. One minute. I also went to Target to get more like snacks and stuff, things that you wouldn't get at the grocery store, um, like fresh produce stuff. So I got them poopy bags. Very exciting. I also got these strawberry gummy snacks because they were on clearance for a dollar. You guys, I'm such a child. But I got Capri Sun. I grew up on these, okay? <laughs> In the early 2000s, that's all I drink. Got Poppy, prebiotics, 
the raspberry rose flavor, which is my one of my favorites. The other favorite is ginger and lime. Ginger lime. This tastes like just like ginger ale. And then for puppy stuff, I also got them the kind full chicken jerky. Then I got Lay's. This is from the Polish store, but they're really good. Oh, okay. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I also got Kindful um, Wild Fish Oil for dogs and cats. And it has omega-3 fatty acids, and it's good for the moisture of their skin and their coat in general. Well, I'm going to try to add this to the Vital Fresh Pet food because that's wet food. They usually have dry food that sits out, so I'm not going to put that in there so it doesn't spoil, but I'll put it in this. I just got shampoo. This is the shampoo I use for my hair because it's um, bleached. And I really like it because conditioner, I have like three bottles, but I didn't have any shampoo. I just got my favorite oat milk by Califia Farms. The best. I think that's it. Yeah. Let's give them a new food. I just realized I never showed you guys the rainbow bees that I was making yesterday, but how cute are they? They remind me of like the Lisa Frank. I was very popular in the early 2000s because everything was rainbow and pretty. My younger self would have died for these. Look how cute they are stacked. You can add keychains. <gasps> One of my succulents is sprouting. Um, Two of the leaves fell off, and in their place, there's two more sprouts. It's really cool. It is a gloomy day today, but since we last spoke, I ate, I took out my contacts, um, because I'm at home, and I'm going to make one more rainbow bee, because I have one more set of wings that I can use. I'm just so tired. You know after you eat, and you just want to take a nap? That's what I feel like right now. But I'm going to power through, because... It's already 4.44 and I don't want to take a nap now and then be awake for a long time later. So that is the plan today. Here are all the colors I use for my rainbow bees. The white is over here. But they're all from Premiere except this one. I got this on Amazon, but Premiere does have this color. And I'm just going to put on some YouTube. I like crochet. So I already made the bee wings. So that's easy. I really... <laughs> bee wings? Just, I really don't like making them because they're easy. It's just one round, but... Then you have to cut it, then you gotta start again, cut, start again, and um, it's just annoying to me. That's better. All done. They're so cute. There's now three of them. These will be available in my shop by the time you see this video. They're super adorable. I love rainbow stuff. They're just so pretty. Okay, so I finished the last B and now I'm going to work on my homework for my ecology class that I'm taking this summer. Um, I just wanna finish my master's as soon as I can. So I'm trying to stay on track and finish everything within two years so I don't have to do extra schooling for no reason. So yeah, I'm going to clean that mess up and then I'm going to start my schoolwork. Why are there nine assignments that I have to do in one week? That's crazy. Um, anyways, I didn't have time to do it earlier in the week, even though the assignments were open Monday the 29th because I was on vacation. Um, 
and we were doing miscellaneous activities, so I couldn't get to it then. I also didn't have service, nor my laptop. Ill prepared, but it was a vacation. And also, who starts class on Labor Day? Whatever. I got through the first two assignments, so I'm just gonna keep working, and hopefully I can finish this by 6.30. That gives me 45 minutes. I'm praying I can finish it by then. Okay, so I'm reading these essays about a national park in Mozambique. Mozambique? I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, it's called Gorongosa National Park, but I keep saying Gargonzola, like the cheese, and it's just really messing me up. I tried so hard to power through and not fall asleep, but it is now 9.20, and I woke up at 9. Good morning. I definitely fell asleep yesterday. <laughs> Even though I said I didn't want to, I ended up waking up so late into the night. Not late, as in like 3 in the morning, but like late to where the day was over. So I still have my homework to do today, but it's fine. I will get it done. Breakfast time. Okay, it is now 12.52 p.m. I have finished my week one assignment for the ecology course. It was just a lot of reading and then I always overwrite for whatever reason. I put too much detail, whatever. I tried to make it brief. But it was a question that needed development, so I did that. Um, I think I'm going to head over to my parents' house and hang out with my sister for a little bit. I'll start exporting my footage from my Barbados from my Barbados trip so that I can start editing that and get that video up first, then get this video up later. Uh, my dogs are sleeping, but we'll go for a little walk and then we'll drive over to their house and I'll bring some yarn and I'll work on my pizza buddy pattern. I hope by the time this video goes live, it'll already be posted. So if that's the case, I'll put it in my description for purchase. And if not, check out my Instagram for the tester call. But I'm so happy this is done. The next week, I'm sure I'll have more stuff, but that is a problem for Monday and not today. Oh, and also, <laughs> I wrote up the free pizza pattern and I posted it, so that's done. Um, my friend Addison, who collaborated with me on the pizza pattern, um, she posted her version. So her version is a pizza slice and I have the pizza pie. So that's all done and I eat breakfast, so that was good. And maybe I'll pick up lunch with my sister, who knows. All right, we are in the car, ready to go to my parents' house, and I'm gonna go get food with my sister. It's kind of chilly today, it's not that cold, but it's, it's not cold cold, but um, it's a little chilly. Also, someone parked so close to the back of my car, it's gonna take me forever to get out. So that's great. Oh, my stuff is falling. Oh, oh no! Your quality is really bad. This is my nails. I'm going to my YouTube. Here is the doodle of the pizza buddy. And I just have a couple lines written down, but I don't know if they're going to stay. And I'm going to start on it now. There's too many puppies here. Too many puppies. Too bad. I don't know what to do. Ah, too many puppies. Why do they always sit next to me? Did you notice that? They love you. <laughs> so here's the progress on the pizza buddy. I have little pepperonis. And then I'm going to add on any peppers and mushrooms separately. But this is the first test run. I finished the first prototype of the pizza buddy. I'm most likely going to make another one just because this was the first one. I want to double check my pattern but this is how he's looking and he's so cute. A little dangly. I am back home now. We're just hanging out for a little bit. Um, today has been a very productive day. I finished all of my assignments for the first week of my course. I edited and uploaded the free pizza pattern. 
Um, I worked on my new pattern. As you guys saw, I finished it. Now I just have to redo it to make sure all the stitch counts are correct and just to remake it so it's more perfect. But yeah, it's been a pretty productive day. And right now, I think I'm going to make flounder from my clownfish pattern. I'm just going to use that as a basis for flounder and we'll see how it goes. I also forgot to mention I started working on the Barbados vlog. I made the thumbnail. I picked out the music for it and I imported all the footage. So now it's just a matter of putting everything together because for whatever reason everything is jumbled up which is really annoying but it is what it is. But I don't think I'm going to do that today. Alright, so I started editing my video when I was at my parents' house but then I had this genius idea to make flounder from The Little Mermaid and this is my, um, this is my clownfish Nemo pattern. And I just made some adjustments to make it look more like flounder. Good morning, peanut. It's not morning, but I always say that to them. Anyways, that's so cute. 